Whether you hate the holidays or you love them, you can make a killing as a delivery driver if you know what you're doing. I'll be the first to admit, the holiday season can be a little bit rough on driver's wallets if you're not setting yourself up for success. This video is gonna teach you how to do just that. What's going on everybody? I'm Zach Drives Fast for the Rideshare Guy. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through some do's and don'ts for the holiday season so you can avoid some of the headaches that I faced in previous years. I've been a driver for over three years now, so believe me when I tell you, I know a thing or two about maximizing your time and profitability as a driver. The fourth quarter is crazy. People are out shopping for Christmas, they're throwing holiday parties, and they're spending a lot of money. And let's be real, you want some of that money, just like I do. Being is that it is the fourth quarter, let's not waste any time and get right into it so you can go earn more money. Let's kick things off with Thanksgiving. What can you expect? At this point, hopefully you've gotten yourself activated on Instacart, Shipped, and Spark, because in the weeks leading up to Thanksgiving, that's where the real money is. In my years of driving, here's what I've noticed. You're gonna see a huge uptick in all of the apps with shop and deliver orders, but the aforementioned apps are going to be the busiest. Food delivery apps like DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Grubhub tend to slow down a little bit because people are spending so much more money on one meal for Thanksgiving. Now that's not to say that you can't make great money on those apps still, but whatever you do, don't ignore shop and pays because that's where the real money is leading into Thanksgiving. Now, what about Thanksgiving Day? Are you gonna get any offers? This is entirely market dependent, but if you do plan on driving on Thanksgiving, here's what you should do. Check the various customer apps to find out what's actually open. My first year of driving, I went out for a few hours on Thanksgiving and didn't see a single order. I now know that's because I didn't position myself well. In my market, there's only a handful of places that are actually open on Thanksgiving, and I wasn't near any of them. Checking the customer apps will show you where, if anywhere, you should be waiting on Thanksgiving. If you make most of your money on Spark, don't plan on making anything on Thanksgiving. All Walmart and Sam's Club's locations will be closed. If you still want to drive on Thanksgiving but don't particularly care for shopping pays, think like a customer. What are they going to be ordering? There's a couple places in my market that are well known for their pies. Maybe you have something like that in your market that'll be open on Thanksgiving. Just check the customer apps. All right, now that we're all good and turkeyed out, the next holiday is Christmas. What should you do? What should you not do? And what should you expect? If you mainly do DoorDash, Uber Eats, or Grubhub, you're definitely not out of luck. Having said that, people are really freaking busy during Christmas. They're going to holiday parties and they're doing their shopping. So they're not ordering from the food apps until later in the evening. Pay attention to that. In my three years of driving, I've noticed the same trend year after year. The food delivery apps get busier later in the evening because people are out doing their shopping or they're at Christmas parties. Maybe your customer went to a Christmas party that advertised free food and drinks, but when they got there, turned out to be fizzy water and goat cheese. Nobody's going to get full on that nasty shit. So when they get home, they open one of the apps and you're there to save the day. All right, so now that we've deduced that customers tend to order food delivery later in the evening, what should you be doing during the mornings and afternoons? Depending on how far into December we're talking about, if we're talking the first couple of weeks, chances are people aren't going to be ordering their Christmas dinner yet. So, what are they going to be ordering? Gifts. Spark, Shipped, and Roadie. And yes, you heard me right. Roadie. Let's start with Spark. Much to Amazon's dismay, Walmart is the largest retailer in the world. So, it makes perfect sense that millions of Americans are going to be doing their Christmas shopping there. Spark has an order type called .com or General Merchandise Delivery, and from time to time, these pay really well. I remember one particular delivery last year. I had two PlayStation 5s, an Xbox Series X, two Nintendo Switches, and a bunch of AirPods in the car, all at the same time. I had thousands of dollars worth of shit in my car, and you best believe I was getting paid well to deliver it all. I want to pause here for a moment and give you a quick tip. If you're going to be doing general merchandise delivery on Spark, make sure you're calling your customer if it's a hot ticket item like those. Unfortunately, the porch pirates really come out around this time of year, and you don't want them to get their PlayStation lifted. All it takes is one customer marking that it didn't get delivered and you could get deactivated. Here's another quick tip. Even if some of these items are leave it at the door, you may not want to. Last year, I tracked down a homeowner because they had ordered a child's bike and I thought by leaving it at the door, there was a pretty good chance the kid was gonna see it. So I made sure to contact the homeowner first and ask them where they wanted me to put the bike. Turns out they wanted it in their garage, hidden. Needless to say, 
The customer was extremely appreciative. All right, let's get back to the dot-com orders. These tend to drop earlier in the day, but the weeks leading up to Christmas, you'll see them all day long. So make your money. One thing I would caution you about with Spark is they tend to get very busy in the evenings at the Walmart stores. So make sure the order you're waiting on is worth your time. Let's briefly talk about Shipped. They don't just do grocery delivery. They also work with Best Buy. So if you're lucky, you might get a really good electronics run that pays you very well for your time. Rody is another app that works with Best Buy. Many drivers scoff at it, but remember, there's no acceptance rate requirement to drive for Rody. And this time of year, there's more demand than drivers. So reinstall it. About a week before Christmas, you'll start seeing the shop and pay orders get really busy. Do your best to take advantage of these during non-peak hours. Think two o'clock in the afternoon. Here's an example of what this could look like. You wake up on a Saturday morning, drink your coffee, and then decide you want to go drive. You may choose to start your day with some spark.com orders. After a few of those runs, it may be close to lunchtime, so you can turn on Uber Eats, DoorDash, and Grubhub and get a few lunch orders in. Around 2, the food delivery apps will start to die down, so you should check Instacart, Shipped, and Spark to see if any shop and pays are available. Being as that people are busier this time of year, that may take you through to 6 or 7 p.m., and that's when the food delivery apps will start to pick up again. Now that we've discussed the weeks leading up to Christmas, what can you expect on Christmas Day? Honestly? Probably not very much. Make sure to check your customer apps to find out if there's anything actually open in your market. And if there is, make sure you're waiting in their parking lot. But don't expect much. This brings us to New Year's Eve. I'm going to be blunt. It's pretty hard to screw up New Year's Eve as a driver. Doesn't really matter what app you open, you're probably going to stay busy. People are throwing parties, so shopping pays are going to be fire. People are going to be throwing parties, so food delivery is going to be fire too. It should go without saying. New Year's Eve, people are going to be drinking. So make sure you're staying safe and be aware of drunk drivers. Well, guys, that is going to about wrap up the video. If you haven't done so yet, please do consider pressing the like button and subscribing to the Rideshare Guy. If you enjoyed this video, check out this video next. You can catch me here every Tuesday. My name is Zach. Take care.